Welcome once again for another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I bring to your attention two very highly recommended books. These two are works of fiction and hopefully when you plan your book purchases these two will be at the top of your list. The first one is 1979 by Vel McDermott. It is published by Atlantic Monthly Press and it retails for $37.95. Vel McDermott is, has been termed the Britain's Queen of Crime. She has written great mysteries for decades and actually this is her first new character book in over 20 years. And in this book we are introduced to Allie Burns who has just gotten out of journalism school. She joins a newspaper called The Clarion in Scotland and um, she works with um, a gentleman by the, by the name of Danny Sullivan and um, they're always trying to find um, exciting stories, trying to find conspiracies. Well, they're hunting down the bad guys and in this particular book, yes, they are trying to find, uh, there's an IRA faction who is trying to get bombs. Now, this, remember the title, 1979. The book is set in 1979. So you have to put your mindset back to four decades ago and the way the world was. Um, Allie Burns finds that um, she is not being taken seriously because she's a woman. And in the 70s, that is what um, a lot of women had to face. So it, um, it takes a slice out of the past. And the way Val McDermott writes, she really seems to be channeling 1979 because we feel we have taken a step back in that time machine. And so um, Allie and Danny um, are trying to find out you know, who is behind um, the search for the IRA trying to get their weapons. Now, Danny's brother is not the most congenial of people. Uh, he's been on the bad side of the law, so Danny really doesn't want to turn him in, but he knows things aren't going right with his brother. So it is, there's uh, a deep, deep mystery here. And um, at, well, toward the last, well, I don't know if this, well, I don't like to give spoilers, but anyways, Danny is murdered. And Allie, they suspect that Allie was behind it, so she has to fight for her innocence. And uh, the book is very complex, but that is how Val McDermott always writes her books. Um, they're slow, they're very well, you know, they're slowly paced, but that is what police procedurals are. They're books that don't have um, a lot of action, they're character driven but they still get your attention from first page to last. So take a step back in time and pick up a copy of 1979. And the second book of note is State of Terror by Hillary Rodham Clinton and Louise Penny. This book is co-published by both Simon & Schuster and St. Martin's Press and it retails for $39.99. Uh, two years ago Bill Clinton, former President of the United States, co-wrote a book with the famous James Patterson called The President is Missing. And so I guess it was only logical that his wife, Hillary Rodham Clinton, co-writes with another author um, a mystery book. And she chose Louise Penny, a Canadian author who is known for her Chief Inspector Armand Gamanche series, which is very, very popular. and. Um, the two, Hillary Rodham Clinton and Louise Penny, became best friends. And so it was, it was a suggestion that they combine to write a book. Now, Hillary, Cl Hillary, Clinton, Hillary Rodham Clinton has written six books before this, but they are all nonfiction. So this is her first take on fiction. And the book is about 500 pages long, so you definitely get your money's worth. And uh, it is an interesting story. Um, as the Bill Clinton book was, it is a political thriller set in Washington. Now, the, the book involves President Douglas Williams, and uh, he assigns Ellen Adams as his Secretary of State. 
Now, Ellen Adams is a media mogul. She's in the media business, and um, so she's sort of a controversial pick, but she is up to the challenge. Um, her daughter, Catherine, um, is, is about to take over the reins of power in the media business. Now, um, there is an, another person, Anahita Dahar, who is a Pakistani in the State Department, and she receives a text message that there is going to be bus attacks in specific spots of Europe. And the one that she is most um, familiar with is there's one, and coincidentally, Ellen Adams' son, Gil, is on one of the buses. So she sends the warning. He gets off the bus just before it explodes. Now, it appears that they could be targeting um, physicists who have been um, assigned to create deadly bombs. Now, those three attacks in Europe were just the beginning, and it appears that they are um, just a precursor to what is going to happen in the United States, because physicists have been brought on board, a lot of them, to do the ultimate bomb and to wreak havoc in the United States of America. So Ellen Adams jet sets around the world to try to track down who is responsible. She suspects Iran and also Russia may have something to do with this massive bomb threat. So um, it isn't long before the physicists who worked on the bomb are all massacred. Um, they did their part, now they're all dead. So it's a lot of interesting plot twists that go on as um, it also appears that there is someone in the White House who does not want the president to live much longer. So it definitely, there's a mole in there and uh, the action is really intense. Um, Hillary Rodham Clinton and Louise Penny have really um, co-authored a thriller of a book. And toward the end of the book, we get a special guest appearance from Chief Inspector Armand Gamache. It's just a cameo appearance, but he, he makes his presence known as well. So there, like I said, there's really a lot going on. The attack there, the threat to the president, the threat to the White House, the threat to Washington, uh, it escalates by the page. So um, don't be surprised if these two authors get together again for another book down the road because this book is definitely a, an intense thriller, very highly recommended. State of Terror will get you in a state of great reading. <laughs> so anyways, those are the two books that I wanted to draw to your attention. Hopefully you will seek them out when you are making your book purchases. So I welcome your comments. Please do send your comments about my online videos. I have over 125 of them. So once again, I thank you and I tell you to stay safe, stay sane, stay social distancing, and do stay in touch. Until the next time, bye for now.